It was at this point Tonya knew she fucked up. <sighs> welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new on here my name is tonia and in today's video we're going to be doing a spicy noodle soup mukbang i'm going to show you guys the content properly on the screen and while i eat we're going to talk about some of my experiences in barcelona spain the good the bad and the weird <laughs> if you're new on here make sure to break the subscribe button okay just shatter it smash it and just do whatever you like with it and don't forget to click on the notification bell also and yep let's get straight into the video let me give it a try while i was cooking the spice was killing me okay it was choking me Let's get straight into the video. I think I have it in my eyes. Okay. The coast is clear. Ha! The first thing that happened to me in, um, in Barcelona that was a bit shocking to me, even though I live in Italy and I'm used to things like that, it was still a bit surprising, was the fact that while we were in a line waiting to buy tickets to a show called um, Oktoberfest, anything i say i'm going to show you guys like some kind of proof if i have it okay so um while we were waiting in line um waiting for this october first thing um some of some girls four of them they looked like friends they were just around me it was like two in the front or back or something like that and they were touching my braids this was the hair i had so they were touching my braids and i wasn't offended and the reason is because like i'm used to people doing that kind of thing to me i mean i live in italy it's normal for me when people stare at me or or touch me you know so like i didn't even think it was uh like weird i just thought it was innocent and very funny at the same time because whenever i turn and look at them they would just smile so i found out hmm, they're just curious it's okay they can they can touch it like what is that like is this a braid is this really your hair like is it part of your hair is it fake you know that kind of a thing but they don't speak english they were speaking spanish so but i i figured that's what they were saying okay so i'm just translating what i did not hear <laughs> I can't eat these noodles while I talk. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, okay? It's not, it the second thing this one is something i didn't like about barcelona so we stayed in two different hotels in barcelona the first one was barcelona airport hotel i loved that one it was cheap and everything was basically part of our deal but this second place that we went to or this hotel is freaking expensive parking was not included they had a parking lot but you have to pay 48 euro per day to, to park your car in the freaking hotel, okay? And we were gonna be there for two nights. That's almost a hundred euro to park in the freaking parking space that belongs to the hotel. It makes no sense. Like, your hotel, must you make money from every single thing? We paid for breakfast, okay? And the place that we left before was like 150 euro per night plus breakfast plus parking space and this one almost 800 euro no parking space no breakfast that was really annoying to me the fact that they were very selfish people they just wanted to make money from every single thing i don't want to call their name because i don't want to be that person but 
You guys, like, there are just some things you let go. You, you, you shouldn't collect money from people staying in your residence to park in the parking space that belongs to you. My chest is burning, okay? Oh, God. Ugh. I really wish I was shooting this with some kind of friend. So you guys know I'm not pretending. This thing is spicy as hell. Like, my mouth is watering from the spice. Fucking hell. Another thing that happened in Barcelona that I didn't really like was the fact that some of the taxi drivers are very, very corny as hell. They took more money from us than they were supposed to. We had entered a taxi from like a very short mile and this taxi was reading because the taxi starts from like two euro. So as you move, it will be changing, to, it will be adding two more euro, two more euro per as you go. So while we were going, we saw this thing reading, reading, reading and we stopped and immediately we stopped the man like pressed it like you're supposed to just press stop right so when you press stop it's supposed to be like uh, it's supposed to stop at where it was reading before but instead he added more meters to it and it was as if like he it was as if like, he added more meters to it and the money just escalated all of a sudden like so we're like, um, like, you know, feel like cheaters out here, mate. Eh? Like, you think because we're tourists, we don't have sense, or, or you think we didn't go to school, we don't know how to, like, calculate mass and two and two and pull. Like, two plus two is four. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? So, but anyways, we didn't want problems. I mean, it's just an extra small euro. But, I mean, like, without one euro, you're not going to have a million euro. Okay, it's still gonna be 99.9 .9 euro. It's not gonna be a hundred. You get me now? I have no idea where this UK accent, a be a London accent is coming from, but it is what it is, not me. But we paid and we left. So if you are not smart enough, they are going to rip you off, okay? And most of them are going to take longer routes with lots of traffic so that the meter will increase because even when they when they stop at the traffic it doesn't automatically mean that the meter is going to stop reading as much as you're in traffic for an hour the meter is going to keep reading literally while we drive out when we were driving our own rented car we took this route to the same place this man was taking us to and he left this route and followed this route because this route had traffic and this one didn't so this one was going to take us there faster <laughs> you get like oh my god like be human like why are you acting like this my stomach is hurting me i feel like i've drank too much water One thing that I loved, oh, was the fact that every, um, every restaurant, every bar, every club that we chose were very good. Like, they were very, very good. Like, they had good food in the restaurants that we went to. They had great drinks. And especially this very, this uh, place that we went to called, uh, what was it called again? I'm going to show you guys the name on the, on the screen, obviously. I'm going to show you guys the place. We went to that place. That place was amaze balls. okay? Like, that place had some kind of weird kind of drinks. Like, in, they had drinks in chameleons and drinks in, like, ice cream cones and alcohol and weird things it was really fun and it was a good experience you get so i really like that barcelona has so much place with authentic authentic food authentic stuff like that was my first experience and then another thing i absolutely loved was um the segue we took the thing that we we were riding all over the place it was really fun it was my first time and it was really fun like it wasn't even hard they taught me that thing in less than five minutes and i rode all around barcelona for three good hours um one thing that i noticed about barcelona was most of its places were not extremely clean like like there were so many places that were really really clean but so many places were not clean at all like they were like filled with a lot of trash and like people just litter the place like it's no man's business you know what i mean Another thing that was really weird to me in Barcelona was the fact that we were walking on the street and people would walk up to us and ask us if we want to smoke. Excuse me, sir. I want to ask you something. So because I, because, because I am black, does that mean that I, I smoke? 
Mm? Does that mean I do drugs? See, mind yourself. You do just like Basugudu now. You will know that something is not right with you. But overall, Barcelona was amazing. Like, I would love to go back to that place. I would love to go back there over and over and over. So anyways, those are the only things that I can remember of her right now because this pepper is kicking my butt, y'all, okay? So that's all I can think about right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I hope this video was fun. I hope you guys had some kind of idea of, you know, like through my eyes, some things that happened in Barcelona. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Smash it, break it, and do whatever you want to do with it. And while you're at it, make sure to click on the notification bell so YouTube notifies you whenever I post. Somebody can die from eating this. This thing is hard. Don't, don't do this at home. Don't do it at home, okay? But anywho, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me?